Hi there. So today I am going to be, oh, Max is watching a squirrel chase a, um, chase a chipmunk off the deck. What are they doing, bud? Yeah, last night, this turned into a crime scene. There used to be three bird feeders on there. One of them is down below on the ground. That suet cake one is broken. And that one that's hanging there used to be hanging over there. It's just a mess. I'm pretty sure it was a raccoon that came up here last night, but all the seed is all over the ground. <laughs> Max thinks it's hilarious, but I don't. Anyway, I'm on my lunch break right now and I was about ready to get outside and that, that squirrel, that squirrel, I want to get out there and be like, squirrel, <laughs> leave my stuff alone. Oh my gosh, look at him. No shame. No shame. Oh my gosh. Buddy, what is he doing? He's so naughty. He's so naughty, huh? Look at him. He's just, the other bird feeder is down there. Yeah, I see you, fluffy tail squirrel, eating all the snacks. You're nuts, you're nuts for the nuts. That's for the birds, bud. It's for the birds. Oh, don't even eat my plant. Oh gosh. Get him, bud. Get him. <laughs> my brother's family dropped me off that little plant for my birthday yesterday. And I'm gonna decorate my back deck. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm so distracted right now. There's so much going on. I'm trying to get outside because today I want to uh, trim back my hydrangea bushes. I've got some Cleveland pear trees that are blooming over there. I didn't even notice they were blooming. And I thought, boy, they look really beautiful, but my limelight hydrangeas are needing a real good trim right about now. And the pear trees would look a lot prettier if I trimmed the hydrangeas. So I was heading outside to do that. And I found this package on the porch. And I think it's my boots, uh, this company High C reached out to me and they sent me some boots uh, previously before and I really loved them. They're some rain boots. Um, but they sent me some more boots and you guys, I, uh, I think I'm gonna really like these boots because the boots I have look similar to these but they're very, very expensive. And uh, you guys are always asking me about them and I feel bad telling you what they are because they're so freaking expensive. But these ones are, um, a fraction of the price so I'm gonna open these up and show you and hopefully uh, hopefully you guys like them I'm sure I'll like them I like anything for free <laughs> because they sent it to me for free but let's check these out and if you want them, they gave me like a discount code so you can get 15% off the already pretty reasonable price. But look at these. So these look almost identical to a, a kind of boots that I buy called um, Extra Tough. So my Extra Tough boots, in fact, let me go grab them. So these are my Extra Tough boots. They're really dirty. Nate would kill me if you see me holding these dirty boots over the counter, but these are my extra tough boots. And you guys, these can run upwards to $100 to like $130, depending on what kind you get. And I really like the Salmon Sister uh, series because they have really cool print on the side. They are my favorite boot I've ever had. I love them so much, but look at that. It's very similar very similar and it is 
like half the price. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited about this. We'll see how they do. There's really no better time to bust these out than right now because it's kind of rainy outside and a little bit cold. And so these will be perfect. I got size seven because that's what size I am. I'm usually like a size seven to seven and a half. So I'm gonna put some socks on, try these on, and we'll go outside and use them. And I, I'll let you guys know how I like them. I'm sure I will. I already think they're super cute. They came in a bunch of different colors and I of course picked the really pretty color in the blue because uh, I like the kind of colorful stuff. But um, anyway, let's waste no more time on my lunch break. Let's get outside, try these high C boots out and uh, get some hydrangeas trimmed up so that the Cleveland pear trees look pretty. I love these two loops because you can literally just like pull them on to your foot. They fit nice and snug around your ankle. They Honestly, they feel just like my extra tufts. I love the height of it. It's not too tall, but it's not too short. Like I said, it's pretty snug around your ankle so that like no debris gets in there. It's the worst when you have to take your shoe off and like shake it out because you got like sticks and stones in there. They fit perfect. I would say get your true to size. These are fitting really, really nice for me. And I, like I said, I'm a seven. I'm like a seven to seven and a half and I got the seven and I feel like I even have a little bit of room in there. So you could wear a thicker sock uh, and still get like your true to size. All right, should I wear my matching blue coat or should I spice it up and do yellow? Let's do, let's do matching blue. <laughs> All right, I need some gloves. I love these boots. <laughs> I love them so much. They're so comfortable. Honestly, I, I feel bad coming out here and like getting them dirty. All my other ones get so dirty. I'm like, I kind of want to save these to wear into church in the morning or <laughs> I don't know, to wear like somewhere that I need boots to wear somewhere nice. But maybe I'll just buy another pair because they're ri ridiculously cheaper than the other boots I buy. Don't get me wrong, I still love the extra tufts. They're awesome. Um, but these are amazing, amazing already and I haven't even hardly worn that much. But here's my Cleveland pears. You can kind of see they're blooming here. And then you can see these ugly brown old uh, hydrangea stems that I'm gonna cut back. I completely ran out of time last year and I didn't get to cut them back. And I, they looked fine, they looked beautiful, they looked beautiful. But it just, they were too much. They were too big, they were in the way, and in the mowing path they were whacking Nate in the face every time he mowed the lawn. And he would give me like the most biggest eye roll. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm feeling a lot better. I just have a wicked cough. It sounds like I'm um, on the verge of death, but I'm completely fine. So don't worry about me. Um, I'm gonna just grab this bag here, and then we're gonna get out there and start cutting some hydrangeas back. After midnight, looking for you I walk for miles along the highway Well, that's just my way Saying I love you, I'm always walking After midnight, searching for you All right, these are my five limelight hydrangeas. I planted these years, years and years ago, maybe like eight years ago. Uh, I might even have a picture when I first planted them. Planted them straight into the grass and that was all that was here for quite some time. And then over the last couple of years, I put in these Cleveland pears, but you can see they're starting to bud, uh, bud up and bloom. I didn't even know 
I was looking out my laundry room there, doing my laundry, and I thought, and I said, Nate, my Cleveland pears are blooming. <laughs> we gotta get rid of this nasty cut. I didn't prune these last year, and they need a really good prune, so I might go in hot and heavy and see about pruning quite a bit. We'll see what happens. I just spent like 10 minutes and looked everywhere for my ratchet pruners. Um, there's no way that my, uh, that my falcos can prune this, this tree. It just, it's not going to happen. Uh, cause these stems are so thick and I cannot find my ratchet pruners anywhere. I'm so bummed. So I have to use these like ancient old rusty pruners. So we'll see how this goes. We might end up pruning off more than I, more than I want just because I don't have anything else. But I, at this point, we're just going to do what we can. And as you can see, there's really no rhyme or reason for this right now. I'm just trying to get these things in, in size check at this point. They've gotten way too big. And I don't, I don't mind the size, but I just don't like how they're like kind of gnarly going into my neighbor's yard a little bit. And then, uh, also going into our uh, grass for, mo for mowing. So I'm just gonna try to clean it up a little bit. These plants are very hardy and not gonna hurt it. Actually, I should cut, should cut that them completely off because it's like crossing in the middle. Yeah, I'm going to go in here and cut that one right off. So this stem right here is crossing through the plant going that way and it's actually almost like it's resting on this branch right here and I don't want it to rub on there and ruin it so I'm going to come down here and cut this one off right there. Okay. Take that right out of there. Give it some space. And I've never pruned these this aggressive before. I'm also going to do that with this one. I don't like how it's just growing in there, taking up space. more aggressive than I was planning on cutting it back but it needs it it sure needs it and last year when I cut back my little limelight hydrangeas they had cane bore damage in them and I had to hack them back very far because of that and I wasn't sure how they would do at all there's hardly anything left on those guys, and they came back really nicely, so I'm not even worried about it. I'm kind of anxious and curious to see how these do, like this. That one I might go down further. Let's see. Oh no, I'll leave it right there. And then I'm gonna cut off all these kind of spindly ones. Like this one's dead. Get rid of these spindly ones. This would be actually nice to have. That goes full of light. It's fine. That one I'm gonna go further down. I see a little damage in there. So, that one, I see a little brown damage in there. So, I'm going to keep going further down until I don't see that anymore. Could be cane bore. Alright, we're good to go now. 
So I went down far enough where you can't see it anymore. See how the dark is in there? That looks a lot better. I think I'm gonna come in and clean up. After I'm all done, I'll come back and clean up some of these crisscrossing branches. Um, but that looks a lot better. Now I gotta get to the rest of them. cut back and boy that feels so much better and the trees are going to be so nice and pretty when they're uh, fully blooming and those dead hydrangea blooms are not in the way. Now the next thing I really need to do is clean up all the weeds and the dead stuff that's blowing all over the bed and I left a branch right here. Let me take care of my big mess. I'm just going to throw it into the woods back there to break down over time. This is the most aggressive I've ever cut these hydrangeas back, so I'm really curious to see how they do this year, but I'm hoping they will benefit from it. But let me get this cleaned up and then I'll start weeding. Obviously, I'm gonna have to rake up all these blooms down into the woods, but we'll just leave them for now and I'll start cleaning up the dead leaves and the weeds that are in here and we'll get this bed cleaned right up. Well, what do you think, bud? What was that? So the, irrig the irrigation guy is here to put to turn the irrigation on and um, for the grass and stuff. We've got like sprinklers for our grass and he is here to do that. So I kind of had to get out of the way. Uh, but here's a nice little look at my front porch, I guess, while we're waiting.
We're back in business. That guy is gone now. Got all the sprinklers running and working. Uh, so they, we have underground sprinkling in our grass and every year they have to turn it off at the end of the season and clean out all the pipes and then at the beginning of the season they have to come back and turn it on. So they, today was the day. I didn't know they were coming. So he just showed up and I was like, oh, sorry, let me get out of your way. I have all my, I've got hydrangeas blowing all over the yard. <laughs> um, anyway, he's fine. But he's gone now, so I'm just gonna work on pulling some of these weeds. I have tons of hairy bittercress. I know one of you guys asked me about this weed. It's called hairy bittercress, and it is a pain in the butt. Like, you have to pick it out, otherwise it flowers, and the flowers throw, like, hundreds of seeds. Oh, oh my gosh. There must have been a robin nest up there. I see two little robin eggs. Oh no, you guys, look. Shoot, there's one. And then there's one in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no, there's two more in there. Look, there's one and there's one. That one's broke, you guys. Oh, that's so sad. I hope that they are okay. Dang. That's really sad. I wish I knew what to do. Probably nothing. Probably nothing. But, anyway, I'm going to be pulling all these hairy bitter curse weeds out because as soon as they flower, they send seeds flying everywhere and they just reseed and reseed and reseed. They're everywhere in here. So, I'm not going to be able to get them all because there's just hundreds of them but I'll try my best try to get it looking as best as we can for now because it got really crazily windy out there and started to sprinkle a little bit and it was just getting kind of nuts. I felt like I was like, felt like I was in the Winnie the Pooh book when it was a blustery day and everyone was blowing all over the place. <laughs> it was kind of eerie. But anyway, I want to tell you how much I love these boots. So again, these are my high C boots right here, high C. And these are my extra tough boots. Again, these boots are at least a hundred dollars and I've paid like 120 before for my favorite ones which are orange I've had those ones for years these are my favorite ones right here the orange ones I have actually have three pairs <laughs> I have orange gray and red that's how much I love these boots you guys but they're very expensive and these boots are just as nice they are just as comfortable. The fit is amazing. The color is beautiful. They look exactly the same. If it didn't say, you know, if it said extra tough right there, you would know no different. And they are a fraction of the price. So I'm very, very excited about these boots and I will definitely be buying another pair I love how it says high C at the bottom. And then I'm gonna take you inside and show you the, the box and the tag because it did come with a lifetime warranty. All right, this is a little card that came with it. It says lifetime warranty, 
two steps, one minute to sign up and enjoy. So you just scan that little code or go to the website and go backslash warranty and then fill out the registration. You probably put in that number there and sounds like you get a lifetime warranty on your boots. Like how cool is that? So definitely if you've been asking me about the boots I wear, I would skip past the extra tufts and go for these high C's because they are amazing. So yeah, you guys know me. I'm not on here to sell things. That's that's the last thing I'm trying to do on here. But high C company, they reached out to me through email again and um, I am very, very hesitant on doing this kind of stuff because um, like I said, I, I'm not trying to sell anything. Like I'm just trying to hang out in my garden and share with you guys. That's all I'm trying to do. But you guys have been asking about the boots I wear. And um, I've told a few of you what, what they are. Um, but like I said, they're very expensive. And so feel bad. You know, they're awesome boots. But um, when I went on their website and seen these, I was like, holy cow, those are super cute. I got to try those. So I'm telling you, if you like the boots I wear, I would skip out on the extra tops and try these high C boots because they're so cute and they don't, you don't have to get blue, they have, they come in like neutral colors if you'd rather have a neutral color and they have all kinds of other products on there too. But if you do, you can get 15% off if you use the code JESS, J-E-S, and I'll put it on the screen there so you know, but um, you'll get it for original retail price plus the 15% off. So anyway, if you try them and you love them, let me know. I really hope that you do. Um, but, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me while I, uh, cleaned up my hydrangeas. Hopefully I'll get the weeds cleaned up another day when it's not so windy and crazy outside, and I'll bring you guys along for that. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye. The sun came out. I thought I'd pop out here really quick and show you guys what we did over here before we say bye. still really windy, but at least I'll give you a, a look. Oh, the sun's leaving us again, but looks much better. Still really windy and weedy, but I'm glad we at least got some of it done. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. You like the box, buddy? Yeah, it's pretty sneaky in there, huh? You having fun? You're so sneaky. You're my sneaky boy. You want my high C box? <laughs> For snoozing? You can. You're my snoozy boy. Yeah.